All right, this week we're talking about the introduction and the thesis statement. This is going to cover specifically the thesis statement. Your thesis statement is huge because it is the roadmap of what your literature review, the main portion, the 1500 words of your research paper are gonna be about. All right, so what makes a strong thesis statement? It's something that gives direction to the paper. It limits what you need to write about, and it also informs your readers of what you will discuss in the paper, um, whether you're gonna explain, support, or argue with it. Um, a strong thesis statement requires proof. It's not merely a statement of fact. So we're gonna talk about this. And I'm gonna show you the roadmap, and I'm gonna actually take you to a website that's a really, really amazing website that will help you write your thesis statement. All right, first of all, what you have to do is decide what one of three types of thesis statement you have. Is it analytical, which means you break down an idea or an issue into its parts, you evaluate it, and you analyze it? Is it an expository, or where you explain something to your audience, or is it argumentative? This is actually one of the most popular is argumentative. Um, if you have any, any questions as far as what type you have, ask somebody else. Um, get um, a opinion. In the introductory form, you got other emails from your students or in class you did. And so email and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking my thesis is or my topic is. Um, what do you think it is? And let them give you some insights. Um, it will really help. All right. Also, you will need to label this. When you turn in your thesis statement in your introduction, you will need to label when you write your thesis statement, is it analytical, expository, or argumentative? So do not forget to do that. All right, here's a little bit further review on the thesis types. So um, I'm gonna let you pause here to read them on your own, but this kind of explains analytical, expository, and argumentative a little bit further. Um, what does a thesis statement do? Um, and where does the thesis statement go? So the thesis statement goes um, generally at the end of your introduction. It's the last um, sentence in your introduction. And that is generally because it allows your, the reader to know what's going to take place after what follows. All right, now we've got um, tips for drafting your thesis statement. So first of all, Know the topic. The topic should be something that you know or can learn about. Limit your topic. You don't want to write too much. It's only 1,500 words. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. And you need to do a lot of brainstorming. And I'm going to teach you how to do that in a minute and get you some help with that. There is a thesis formula. And what it is is you take your main idea of your topic, you take your opinion of the topic, and your research and reasons for the topic. And you need to have two or five of those and that equals your thesis statement. So let's look at an example. If your topic is you're looking at prison overcrowding and you think it's a national shame and you do some research and you find out that prison overcrowding causes aggression, that's one of your reasons in research, two, causes inmates to kill, and then your third reason is it causes higher rates of illness. Now you may have four, five, or even six reasons. It just depends on your research and do you have enough reasons to write 1,500 words on. And you don't want to have six reasons if it's going to take you 3,000 words to explain them all. So that's where you need to, your reasons will change depending on your research. So if we combine all of this, your thesis would be prison overcrowding is a national shame because it causes aggression, inmates to kill, and higher rates. Now, like I said, your thesis is a literature review roadmap. So again, if your thesis is the reasons for prison overcrowding in America are shameful because it causes aggression, inmates to kill, and higher rates of illness, in your thesis statement, in your literature review, you're going to talk about um, how it, prison overcrowding causes aggression. You're gonna cite one of your references, or maybe two of them, and then you're gonna talk about what you've learned and what your opinions are on aggression. And then you're gonna talk about how it causes inmates to kill and you're gonna cite another one of your references and your opinions or you're gonna explain it or analyze it and then finally your last one. Let's look at another one or another topic. So 
if we had prison overcrowding in America is a national shame because it creates competition for limited resources and increased likelihood of recidivism and higher suicide, suicide rates. Again, in your lit review, you're going to talk about how it creates competition for limited resources. You're going to cite one or two of your references and you're going to explain it, analyze it, or argue it. And then you're going to go on to the next fact and your final fact. All right, so once you have your thesis statement, you will have a very clear roadmap of what is going to be in your literature review. So there's a great website. If you go um, right here, you copy and paste it um, from the PowerPoint. I have this PowerPoint pasted um, in Moodle without this video, so you can just click on this. You are going to open up the thesis builder and, and outline builder. It's really cool because it's a rough estimate. It's not going to write your paper for you, as you'll tell, but it really helps those of you that have a hard time just putting the pen to paper. You sit there and stare at the paper, or your typewriter, or your, well, not typewriter these days, but your computer, and you can't get started. This is going to help you at least get started. So what it will do is when you click on the thesis builder um, and you say, okay, let's go, it will bring up, it'll say, let's get started. It will ask you, what's your topic? So prison overcrowding. And it'll say, what's your main opinion? Well, you think it's a national shame. What's an argument? What's your strongest one? Well, recidivism rates increase. And then what's a second reason? Suicide rates increase. And then you could have all kinds of things, and then you give a title. And what it will do is it will tell you, first of all, here is what we think is a good thesis statement. Now, if you read through it, like I said, it's a very rough draft, but at least, like I said, it gets you started. And then if you keep going, it will actually show you what your lit review would look like, um, and the second shameful fact, and so on and so forth. So it's a good start. I recommend going to it so you can just get started so you have a good idea of how your research paper um, should at least begin as a very, very rough draft. All right, this ends this video series.